lucky enough to be head of Southwark Primary School in Nottingham, uh, which currently has 640 pupils on roll. The school's in a very deprived area. Half our children have a free meal and half of them have a special need. And we've been very fortunate to get an absolutely exemplary building, which is the product of a lot of teamwork. We wanted it to be first class and to reflect mentally the needs of the children. And one of the features that everyone that was involved in the consultation and developing the vision was determined to incorporate was a high level of, of ICT. And we felt that that had to be utterly integral to the vision of the school. So that what we wanted to create was a building in which it was possible for children quite naturally to use aspects of ICT in their work whenever it needed it and wherever it needed it so that there would be access in the grounds, throughout the classrooms and anywhere else in the school. Because we wanted to uh, achieve this anytime, anywhere philosophy, we had to look at wireless and we had to know that it would be totally reliable. The wireless that we've got here is really fantastic. It does enable us to use these laptops anywhere on site. We can go to the end of our playing field um, right up to the school office. We can walk around watching a video if need be. The children can really make the use of the outdoor space we've got because of the wireless. You get to go on this massive board and the teachers tick you off on what you want to do. You get like loads of choices. You can go on the internet on the boards as well. Well, you're sometimes allowed outside by yourself to do stuff on your laptops. You can use it in the classroom and you can use it in the hub. I don't think many other schools have got all the high tech internet and stuff. You can get very educational and it's very fun. We've been working with Southwark uh, for about 18 months and we've closely tried to align the ICT system requirements with the school's vision for teaching and learning and they wanted to give the technology to the learner to assist them with their own teaching and learning. So that the teachers stop being people who are providing the children with a laptop and asking them do you research on this laptop but enabling them to say I want to do some research, I want to go and get that laptop, I want to use that appropriate media for my research. Capita have been working closely with Maru for about three years now. We're not just looking to provide coverage throughout uh, a school campus, we're also looking to provide high volumes and density uh, of mobile users. The third generation wireless technologies uh, and their multi-channel multi-cell environments are very challenging from a design point of view, especially uh, when we consider the wireless requirements within education. Traditionally we have looked at third generation wireless providers and the complex design of the overlapping cells was only amplified when we added density to that. So when we were introduced to Maru, we very much liked the simplified approach to a single cell deployment. So we trialled it within uh, two of our BSF schools and uh, you know I'm, I'm delighted to say since that trial We've now deployed Maru into over 100 schools. I use ICT across the curriculum, so I try and bring ICT elements in as often as possible just so that they're familiarised with the skill set that's necessary to be able to be fluent using ICT. In the past, I have been reliant upon ICT speeds, um, and it's so much nicer to be able to have that fluidity of use so that they can take netbooks into the classrooms, they can use them in different environments, they can take the netbook to their learning. ICT is so important in a primary school because it can add so much to a child's education. Um, in every lesson they have, ICT can be involved and should be involved. And um, the range of things we've got here at Southwark really, really benefits every child when they use it. Things such as the interactive whiteboards, the mobile laptops, we can take them anywhere in the school and use them really easily. I think we're seeing a change in the way that teachers approach education and that rather than standing at the front and delivering lessons, we're enabling them to further their own learning and that's something that ICT is great at. The amount of information that is on the internet is way beyond what I could ever give the children and it also means a lot more to them if they can find it out themselves. So using the laptops and using the internet as a research tool just is fantastic for them to be able to manage their own learning. The wireless allows children to take laptops into the hub, work in smaller groups which is better for their concentration, better for them to work together in partners, things like that. So they can sit anywhere in the classrooms, it's not just about you've got to sit in this corner, you've got to sit near the plug sockets, 
which is um, fantastic for teachers because we can put children exactly where we want them in the right groups for their ability. So the main difference between the ICT in the old school and the ICT we have now is the reliability of the system. In the old school we had a lot of problems, it would shut down a lot of the time and halfway through the session you would be left with no computers working in the new school, we don't have that problem anymore. The Maroo Wireless Solution is incredibly reliable, we haven't had a single problem in over a year and a half which is fantastic and that just allows teachers to, to know and rely on it, to know that it will be there. They can turn up in the morning, set their laptops on, access all their planning, access the internet, access anything they need. It means that we can teach and plan effectively, it means we can store all our documents centrally so that everyone can access them from wherever they are. The Maru Wireless Network is, is utterly invaluable. We would not have that ICT structure and functionality without it. Um, I have staff here who teach with ICT, they're ICT dependent to a large extent, every day, virtually all day. If that wireless network goes down, well, all hell breaks loose basically, because they've got to replan every single lesson at a much lower level of uh, child involvement. So knowing that that Miro network is as reliable as it is enables us to teach at the level that we do. We are all really grateful for the Marie Wireless Solution.